Friday night in Hong Kong. One of Occupy Central's most confrontational nights to date, which even saw this reporter getting hit on the head by an object thrown from the crowd. This crowd, a diverse mix of angry residents and anti-Occupy supporters in the city's dense district of Mong Kok, had come to oust these few hundred pro-democracy protesters and to tear down this, their Occupy encampment over the past week. Motivations and conspiracies were laid out. From the uh, online uh, information such as Facebook, we can see that uh, people organizing them to come out and we believe that uh, they are paid for the, this. Uh, common in China, they, what, people get money, get paid and do what, uh, uh, what they want. Maybe it's the government. So we are one of these residents, but we guess they are hired by somebody. Five And with this chant, you've been paid, go home, echoing across the blocks, it seems many believe this may be true. In response to these clashes, police linked hands, at times forming a human chain to protect what's been deemed an illegal Occupy gathering. A strange turn of events from a night before, Your position. when police at Hong Kong's government headquarters stood in tense standoff with the same movement. And from Sunday, when police hurled tear gas into the crowds. But this local news report broadcast Friday afternoon of anti-Occupy members violently tearing down part of the Occupy camp infuriated many. Allegations that Hong Kong police failed to deploy enough officers added fuel to the fire. One superintendent said a force of 150 officers had been deployed to deal with the crowd, several thousand strong. Law enforcement did evict several protesters believed to be anti-Occupy members and said two had been arrested for fighting. But the public seemed unconvinced the police were doing enough. At one point, chanting in deafening unison for officers to handcuff this man, accused of earlier hurting an Occupy protester. Friday's violence and the perceived lack of law enforcement inflicted further injury elsewhere. Talks between one student group and the government to discuss democratic reforms have been called off.